Good morning. It is our first sea day. Um, we're out on the balcony. Yes, it is a little bit chilly. Just a little. So we don't know what we have planned today. This is all new to us. Uh, usually this would be breakfast, go uh, get on the pool deck, but um, we're too cold for that. Just a little. So we'll take you around where we go. Try. We'll definitely be trying new things today for sure. So uh, we'll take you along, especially if you guys are not pool people. This might be uh, help you guys. Uh, what you can do on sea days when it's cold out. Yep. All right, so we're gonna go get some breakfast. You ready? Yes. All right, we'll see you around the ship. Bye. Um, I didn't vlog this yesterday because it was just too crowded. But these are all the things you can get when you come in to get dessert. Eggs. Okay, bacon. Bacon every day or royal. I know Carnival has it every other day. But bacon every day. Hard starter stuff. Some grits. I guess you're sure you can get your alcohol. Let me take it right here. Your coffees. There's an omelet station here. Some Asian food. And on the other side of here. Same setup as there was the side I just showed you. Now we gotta find Ruby and then we can head back. It's very crowded. And then up here, the Mediterranean market, and then salmon, some lunch meats. Oh, chocolate milk in a container. That's interesting. It's different. Your cereals, different breads, pastries, donuts. I'll show you a little bit more of a uh, <coughs> just really cry at the moment. I'll show you more a little bit later. And then you have light and sweet stuff. Biscuits and gravies, biscuits, some waffle, French toast, pancakes. Again, we came a little bit later, so it's really crowded. I think I'll give you another tour of it when it gets up. Uh, maybe not as crowded on another day. Alright, it's crowded, but I'll try to take you some through the souvenir shop. Different stuff. Typical. What I can tell you is that if you're a big person, are you a good big The best. If you were a big, big person like me, they do not have too many of the sizes for us big people. Definitely a lot of mediums. Now I don't know whether they just got finished on a 13-day uh, cruise, cruise that we got on that they're limited. But these are all the stuff in the gift shop. Not that neat them. Did they? They look nice, don't they? That was that was the outfit oh, that, that, that one that, that, like the, the couple, couple was wearing. wearing last yeah. yeah. But there's a typical stuff. And of course, they try to sell you all this kind of stuff. So you have top this music, so copyright music, some rum cakes, some other souvenirs. All kinds of different cups. I like the screen. Jewelry upon jewelry. And then out here, out here they do little discounts of stuff. And there's stuff over there, clear stuff. That's pretty much the main souvenir shop. Right, want to keep going? We came in. Yeah, we did a, a, we came in this way. 
so we're gonna go that way. All right, we'll take you around where we can to the next spot. Stand again. Now it's time for me to ask you a few questions. This is for and as you know, Royal people who have planned them up. We've never done one before, so we think we try it out. The company was started in 1968, and in 1970, they had the first ship delivered to Royal Caribbean. Last summer, we met the Song of America in Mediterranean, and she just looked like she did when she was sailing for Royal Caribbean. Let me introduce to you myself, I am Nikki from the Philippines and I'll be your loyalty ambassador here in Vision of the Seas. I'll be ready to help you with your all, your, uh, all of your loyalty needs. Now, does any one of you have any guess on how many Crown and Anchor members we have on board? How many what? 1,000? 2,000? <laughs> Let us see, okay? I'll be showing to you our forecast. For our gold members, we currently have 417 members on board. For platinum members, we currently have 161 members on board. For emerald members, we do have 117. For diamond members, we do have 231. Yay! For diamond plus, we do have 193 members on board. And for our dear pinnacle members, we do have 42 members on board. For 35 years now, her fair sailing is 1989, and her favorite ship is Vision of the Seas, and her favorite port of call is Mediterranean. Let me welcome to the stage, Miss Victoria Self. <laughs> Um, everyone's background because Victoria has been staying for us for back to back to back to back <laughs> until we do dry up. So we went to the. Uh, is it? We went to the dock arcade. Now everything the same. So this is the actual lunch menu. We just ate, so we're not gonna eat again. Use that breakfast. But I'm going to give you a, sh a show of what they have for lunch. Chicken stir fry, stir fry vegetable. Pastas. And then over here. Okay. Do they have the burgers? Sure. Green burgers, hot dogs, fries, and the same thing over there. And then let's go see what's up here. Oh, we're all the sweets. I'll give you a view of all the desserts they have. Good afternoon. Gluten free stuff if you're gluten free. Yeah. Yeah. And they have all the fruits. And more desserts. So that's what I have for lunch. Okay. Right, Question number one. Number for Central theme trivia. I'll do with friends. So okay. here we go. He's going to start doing So I'm going to give you a series of questions. They're multiple choice questions. So you have at least four to choose from. Mm -hmm. Each question, one point. So once again, are you ready? Everybody's so silent. OK, number one. The series Friends is set in which city? Question number three. What is Monica skilled at? What is Monica skilled at? Question number four. Monica briefly dates billionaire Pete Becker. Which country does he take her for the first date? Rachel was popular in high school. Her prom date chick ditched her for which girl at high school? Number eight. 
which cartoon character was on Phoebe's Going Us that Ursula threw under a bus? Question number 14. Here we go. What is Janice most likely to say? What is Janice most likely to say? Please come well, in with a we, we did terrible. We only got eight of the 15. You. Not our better game. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is a Beatles trivia. I know the last cut was the other trivia, but we've been sitting around in the screener bar and just right. and chill with people. But anyway, this is our next trivia. So we ended up getting 12 of the 15 right. I know it's a lot of scribble scrabble all over the place, but that's what we got. 12 of 15. That's right, because he checked me. I did, I had to. So we are going to do something we've never done before. Bingo! We're going to play some bingo. So uh, we're going to have some fun. We're trying something different. So we'll see how it goes. Well, bingo. Let's go try this thing out. Okay, we are set up, ready to go. Um, the higher you go up in your loyalty program, the more. So this green card, we're emeralds, so we got actually got six extra cards. So if you want to play bingo, it's forty-nine dollars for six and fifty-nine dollars uh, for nine. Like, we'll see how it goes. First time, you ready? Yes. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. See if we can keep up. Green card. All right, here is our first night in the MDR, and it's a taste of France tonight. So there's the menu. I'm trying to go as slow as I can for you all. Here is our waiter, Sherwin, and assistant Rossi. Rossi, Rossi, right? See Rossi, right? Yeah. So it's more for me than it is for you guys, so I remember the names. <laughs> Especially when I, because we decide, we usually, if they're good service, we'll, we'll tip them extra. So, anyway, well, let's just see what we get. Okay, we're starting, both of us are starting off from Escobar, Escobar, was es it? Escordo. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. I had this once before on another cruise ship, and I'm, I was a little skeptical. But it actually is not that bad, especially the way they make it. So hopefully it's the same. All right, seafood Lagwini. And beef tenderloin. That is our dinner. The cream brulee is what she got. Uh -huh. I'm not even showing you eat it. And I got apple, hot apple, hot apple. Wow, hot apple cobbler with some ice cream. I should have asked for a little scoop. You cannot talk today. Yeah, I'm having the one of those. Of having one of those days. But that's our dessert for tonight. This is what the buffet had for dinner tonight. Chicken cordon bleu. There we go. Let's see what they had in the center. What do we got here? Oh, grapes. Grapes. Works in part one. Warm collar. And what's over here and stuff? These are the burgers. Well, this has changed here. Yeah, it wasn't here. That wasn't here. Different things there. And then the other side, up here, probably would be all desserts. It seems like this is dessert, the center's dessert. Which is different than the grandeur because the grandeur, I think they had regular food as well, maybe? But anyway, the desserts are here. Typical buffet night, but you should see what they have if you don't want to eat 
it didn't mean. Yep, if you don't need the MDR, you could do this right here. So, and that is it. They closed the other side up because I guess it's getting later in the night. So, you gotta go back to Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. And then this side has that thing is on it. Big potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. Steak and gravy and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Okay. Steamed vegetables, some potatoes, and then the salad stuff down there. So that is what is at the buffet if you don't want to eat the main dining room on this night. Okay, we're here to watch a show. One night only. This is what her name? Oh, I don't know what her name is. There we go. Genesa Basalon. Basalon. I am sure I'm butchering that name. But that's what we're doing. And that's what we're watching. Behind this screen. And it starts in 22 minutes. Very good evening ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys and once again welcome back to the beautiful Masquerade Theatre for tonight's production uh, headliner Showtime. How are you all doing tonight? <laughs> okay, not bad, not bad. I like the energy folks, but I'll tell you something. This is a live show. The louder you are, the better she will perform. So let me try this one more time. How are you all doing tonight? Now we're talking, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. You're gonna love it. But folks, how you Finish the lyric. So
Here's our stuffed animal, a bear, with some paper. What does it say? What does it say? Let's see what it says. My wife is making a mess. <gasps> Win 250 for a booking. A vacay. Should we just move the table and stand under the light? We could, but we're, we're going live right now. Are we going yeah. live right now? <laughs> well, live is Russ. Good evening. Good evening. It is, uh, what, a little after 10 o'clock? I oh. have no idea. You have the watch. All right, hold up, guys. Hold up. I didn't. It is 10.05. And we're in our cabin. Yes. So, what a day, what a day, what a day. It was a long day for a sea day. Very long day. We slept in. It still seemed like a long day. So let's see, let's backtrack. So uh, last thing I, th well, the first thing I showed you was the, I'll show you a lot of stuff. I'm tired. So I think we talked before, let's, we'll go to bingo. How about bingo? We'll bingo. start at bingo. So we saw that we played bingo and um, I didn't win anything. I did. And how much did you win? $54 and some cents. Yeah, so there was nine people who won that game. Yeah. The last game, <clears throat> um, that lady, took home over six hundred dollars for a game that's pretty cool so yeah. uh congrats on her but that's with our bingo so that was my first time doing the bingo um i enjoyed it did you uh-huh so we did that so uh let's see then from there we had a rush because it was uh, ran over had a rush to go to the dinner which you saw the food what did you think of your food my food was good we, so as you saw we both had the escar escargot that was really good um and then the tenderloin was good your linguine Seafood linguine was good, mm -hmm. and then desserts, you know, typical oh, desserts. Good. So you really don't go wrong there. From there, <laughs> yeah, we're we're rocking a little bit here. And then after that, we went and saw what you saw a little bit of the. Um, was it one night only? Um, it was okay. I didn't vlog a lot of that, but it was okay. I mean, it started off really slow. I'm thinking, uh oh, I'm gonna fall asleep. Yeah, it, I mean, it was it was different. Um, she's from Las Vegas. She performs in Las Vegas. Um, I guess we're just not really big into that. So, I mean, me personally, if I went to Vegas, wouldn't pay to go see her. But, you know, yeah. that's my personal opinion. Yeah, I, I agree with that. After that, we went to um, the uh, Finish That Lyric. Um, <clears throat> you saw a few clips of that. That was pretty good. The, the lady who won it, she was she actually did pretty good. She did do that. And then from there we stayed around. You saw a little bit of the. It's called the house band. It's called, oh, Seascape or I'll get the name for you on that. But it's the house band for Vision, um, for the most part. And I liked them. They were good. Yeah, they were definitely really good. And then from there we just went, <laughs> we got a slice Some of pizza, pizza and a couple chocolate chip cookies. Well, he got chocolate chip cookies. Oh, that's for me. Yeah. And then that's it. We're back. We're done for the evening. So overall, good day. Good day. Um, and then we went to bed. Yeah, 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 we went to bed. Hope you guys enjoy that time. Tomorrow we're in Charleston, and uh, we'll take you along with us. See you in the morning. Have a good evening.